Hello again and welcome back everybody to another edition of the Rural Report. I am your Rural 2IC and I had a very interesting question proposed to me that uh, my answer prompted this video. And so I had somebody who uh, is, is interested into the idea of the world of prepping, but uh, they're, they're not preparedness type of person, if, if you will. And they asked me, they said, if, if you are prepared and you have all this stuff and whatever, and then you're, you're squirreled away for the apocalypse, what's it going to be like for you? And, you know, there's a lot of different ways that you could have answered that one, depending on who you are. Uh, you know, you have the people out there that, that think it's going to be a video game. They're going to gear up and they're going to run around and then become warlords or something along those lines. Uh, you have other ones that are going to be the op opposite end of the spectrum. And uh, they're going to be, uh, you know, scared beyond belief and, and struggling every single day and, uh, you know, doing everything that they possibly can to survive right so i thought about it and i wanted to give a better answer than just your typical stereotype way that most people would probably think you would answer it and the way that i came up with it is you won the lottery now hear me out with this so most of you listening i'm gonna guess probably all of you have not won some mega million powerball whatever it is in your state or wherever you're listening, but uh, you, you won the big one, millions and millions and millions of dollars. What do you think people is going to do when they hear that you, Mr. or Mrs., you won, you, you now have $900 million? Well, my guess is you're going to have a group of people that haven't talked to you in a long time, suddenly... They're your best friend. They're coming out on your door. Hey, buddy, how are you? You'll probably have a couple of other ones that's going to gently remind you. Remember back in the fifth grade when I loaned you some money? Then you're probably going to have the ones that were somewhat friends, but, you know, uh, you weren't that close, but, you know, you're still friends. Uh, they're suddenly going to have all sorts of sad uh, sob stories where, uh, you know, suddenly something really terrible is going on and, and they're going to try and, and sympathetically see if you can help them out, you know, with a little bit of your, your gracious uh, newfound uh, winnings and things, right? Uh, other ones are going to have uh, a much more direct approach. Maybe they're going to try and come after you in, in some sort of lawsuit way. Uh, maybe they're going to come after you, uh, you know, and, and uh, the only way that they know is, is to take it by force. Uh, but there's a lot of it. So we just gave a few examples there. So let's take money out of the equation and let's replace that with your preps. Suddenly, the event happens. The balloon goes up, if you will. And everybody's freaking out. Everybody's panicking. But suddenly, there's a person that remembers you're a prepper. You haven't spoke to them in 10 years. They're knocking at your door. Hey, remember me? Remember, remember all them good times we used to have? I'm a little hungry. Could, could you spare a little bit to help me out? I know you've got it. Yeah, sound familiar? What about the, the other ones of uh, long lost relative? Hey, I'm your second cousin twice removed. Got a little something for me? Yeah, probably that too. What happens on the other people on the opposite end of the spectrum of there that we talked about? What happens if they're coming to take it by force? They know you have it. They know that they can't come to you with a... a really good friendship story and, and drum up some old memories. They know that uh, they're not going to win you over with some made up sad story or anything along those lines. They know that, uh, you know, they're not related or, or anything along those lines. They know that you don't really owe them anything because uh, they never gave you anything in the first place. Maybe their last resorts to come take it by force. 
And so that really, for me, was my answer to them. Because if you are prepared as you think that you are, and we're going to get into that in just a minute, then you really, when the balloon goes up, did hit the lottery. You have way more than what everybody else has. Instead of money, we're talking about items, tangible assets, things that people need to survive. You now have an abundance, way more, and everybody else is broke. They don't have it. And so that really puts the things into a little bit per, uh, uh, more of a perspective for you. Maybe it'll give you a little bit more of a hindsight on how valuable your stuff is. You have it to where some people look around and they're like, beans, bullets, and band-aids. Well, uh, 22 bullets are two cents a, a piece. Uh, a can of pea, or beans or something, I can go get that for less than 99 cents. Band-Aids, I can go to the dollar twenty-five store and get a whole box for less than five dollars. I've got all that covered. I'm not rich. Hmm. Depends on what we're talking about. The balloon is still hovering. Yeah, that five dollars. It's not a whole lot, right? Balloon goes up. Suddenly, that's a lot. It changes everything. And so, hopefully being able to maybe make that analogy, maybe to make that comparison to where uh, you're going to have various groups of people and it's going to be more of your OPSEC. How, how much do other people know? Uh, you know, most of the time people know, okay? Uh, it may not be a bunch of people, but there is people out there that know that you at least have some things. They may not know everything that you have and good on you, okay? Nobody should know everything that you have, really. But they know. There's friends, there's family, there's neighbors, there's co-workers. Maybe you let some things slip that you probably shouldn't have. Maybe you said some things and you really didn't even realize that you were saying it. Maybe somebody overheard of that you didn't even intend. There's people out there that know. And maybe it'll give you a little bit more. Would you go around telling everybody that you won the lottery? That at home, tucked under your mattress, you have millions of dollar bills. Would you do that? No. You probably shouldn't do it with your preps either. Is it okay to say that you got a little bit? You know, hey, uh, I won a, a scratch off and, and I've got a hundred bucks. You know, it's the same thing. Uh, I went to somewhere and uh, there was a really good sale and uh, I bought all this canned food they had it marked down for 20 cents a can and you know i bought a hundred dollars worth you know something along those lines that's up to you that's your discretion but i do want to break up the point that i i brought up a little bit earlier there and that is being honest with yourself and you have to think out of it most of us have gone through an interview for a job and one of the big questions that a lot of them like to ask is what is one of your strengths and what is one of your weaknesses? And I tell you, for a lot of people, it's an annoying question. Everybody wants to, to tout about every single one of their strengths. I'm really good at this. I'm really good at that. I've trained in this. I've got years of experience in this. Strength after strength after strength. Good. You, you should identify your strengths and you should focus a lot on your strengths. That's what you're really good at. You should also know what your weaknesses are, okay? And you have to be really, really honest with yourself because knowing what your weakness is, one, it gives you a leg up that you know kind of a spot that maybe you need to strengthen in some sort of a, a different way. If you know that your weakness is medical because you're just you you're not a blood person the sight of blood just makes you queasy maybe even makes you faint you're not going to get past that maybe you need to make friends with some sort of medic somebody that that has a higher form that can stomach it maybe the same thing maybe you can't stand the sight of blood so you're not going to be able to butcher an animal maybe you need to find somebody that that is their strength because 
usually one person cannot do it all. And even if somebody is very, very good at doing a multitude of things, you still have to sleep, you still have to eat, you have to do other things. You can't do everything all at the same time. You have to focus a little bit as you do things. So it's better to team up. Again, that's why we've done multiple shows on having a mag or a tribe or something along those lines. Many hands make light work. Thus, bringing up that if you have a team, it's a lot easier to manage when that person suddenly, uh, when the balloon goes up, wants to come knock at your door and try and take your stuff by force. Instead of you against one or a few, it can be your entire team against one or a few. Odds are a little bit better. Remember, there's strength in numbers. So try and think of it over the next couple of days. When you walk into your pantry, when you look at your, your shelf of different things that you have acquired, when you look at any of your supplies, whether it be medical, food, uh, water, uh, self-defense, um, books, anything like that, instead of looking at it and just seeing the physical object, look at it as an investment. Look at it as what it would be if suddenly the balloon has gone up, SHTF has fully happened, it's hit the fan, and you can't go to the store anymore. You can't get on the internet anymore. You can't pick up your cell phone and just have it delivered next day. You can't go and call somebody. You can't do all this stuff. Now how valuable is everything that you're looking at right now? Suddenly just the value went skyrocketing, right? So hopefully that gives you a little bit more of a perspective, a little different mindset, if you will. So hopefully you got some value out of that. Hopefully I brought you a little bit of some substance, maybe some entertainment. Uh, if I did, then uh, hit the little uh, thumbs up there. Make sure that uh, if you like this and, and uh, this uh, sort of stuff, hit the uh, subscribe button, a little bell for notification. Share this out with some of your friends and different things. And uh, let's let's build up the preparedness community because the greatest group on the planet, hands down, the hill I will die on, the prepping community is the greatest group there is. No, no one can match it. So. Uh, I hope you guys have an amazing day. I hope you have a blessed day. Stay tuned because there's definitely more information to come. And with that, I want to remind you, remain united. We're all prepping in this together.